Shafi, why are you not a Shafi? So the common reply I get is, because my parents were Hanafi, my father was Hanafi, my mother was Hanafi, so I am a Hanafi. So then I ask him a question, what if your father was a Shafi? So he tells me, brother Zakir, if my father was a Shafi, even I would have been a Shafi. Answer simple. I said, very good. Till here it is simple. What? If your parents were non-Muslims, what would you be? Then there is a long pause. See, you told me if your parents, because your parents are Hanafi, you are Hanafi. If your parents were Shafi, you would have been a Shafi. Very logical. What if your parents were non-Muslims? Then there is a long pause. I said, brother, why don't you reply? He replies in a very soft tone. Maybe I would have been a non-Muslim. Softly he says, maybe I would have been a non-Muslim. So I said, fine. Now if your age is 30 or 40 years, and now if you give me the reply that you are a non-Muslim, whether a Hindu or a Christian or a Jew or a Jain, you give me the reply, I am a non-Muslim because my father is a non-Muslim or my mother is a non-Muslim, will you be excused? There's a long pause. He doesn't reply. I said, if you say yes, then all the non-Muslims today, even they will be excused because most of the parents have been non-Muslims. So there's a long pause. Then he gives me the reply after thinking, if Allah gives me Hidayah, I will become a Muslim. I said, fine. If Allah gives you the Hidayah, you'll become Muslim. But Allah says in the Quran, in Surah an kabut chapter number 29, verse number 69, that if you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do jihad fi sabalillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open his pathways for you. The criteria is you should strive. If you strive, Allah will give you Hidayah. It's a promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will open up his pathways for you. So the criteria is that if you strive, Allah will open up the pathways. Like yesterday we saw and in the few past few days, we saw many non-Muslims coming and telling that, you know, I've been born in a non-Muslim family. What's my fault? And I told him and many of you were there yesterday and I proved to him that fine. If you accept Islam now, all your past sins will be forgiven. So yet you have a chance. And many non-Muslims have accepted Islam. So the criteria is that you should strive. So when you tell the non-Muslims that they should strive in order to find the haq, if a non-Muslim comes and tells you that why are you a Muslim? And you give the reply because my fathers are Muslim. So he will tell you, have you strived? Have you tried and found the truth? So it becomes your duty even to study about Islam. Read the Quran and the Hadith. Compulsory. If we tell the non-Muslims, we shouldn't include that to the Muslims, even you should strive for the haq. Then I say, Alhamdulillah, your parents, mashallah, the Hanif Shafi belonging to Muslims, and my parents are Muslim, Alhamdulillah, therefore we are Muslims. Allah's grace, Alhamdulillah. Then I ask him the next question. That brother, you said you are a Hanafi. Which is better? Hanafi is better or Shafi is better? That's my next question. Which is better, Hanafi or Shafi? Most of these group of Muslims, they will give the reply, Kya charo musalle barhak hai? All the four schools of thought are on the truth. That is a common reply. That all the four schools of thought, Hanafi, Malaki, Shafi, Hanbali, all of these four, four schools of thought, they are barhaq, they are correct. Some will say Hanafi is right, some will say Shafi is right, but the majority will say, Charo Musalle barhaq hai, all the four schools of thought are correct. Then I ask another simple question. Now these questions are known to everyone. It's not a difficult question. Then I ask the next question. Brother, in your musalla, in your maslak, in your madhab, in the Hanafi musalla, if a man is in wudu, and if accidentally 
he touches the woman or a woman touches him does he go outside the state of wudu or is he yet in the state of wudu in urdu we say wudu tutti hai kya nahi does the wudu break or not in english we will say is he yet in the state of wudu or outside the state of wudu so the hanafi will reply that in the hanafi madhab the wudu does not break i said fine let's go to the next question in the shafi madhab in the shafi musalla if a man accidentally touches a woman or a woman accidentally touches a man who is in a state of wudu is he yet in the state of wudu or outside the state of wudu uski wudu tutti hai kare does his wudu break or not the reply will be mashallah all of you know it simple question simple answer the wudu breaks it nothing difficult all these questions so far are simple in the shafi musalla the shafi madhab the wudu breaks my next question again very simple i ask the question dear brother can both be simultaneously correct that one muslims wudu breaks when it accidentally touches a woman and the other muslims wudu doesn't break when he accidentally touches a wudu when he touches a woman accidentally can both be simultaneously correct i am not asking who is correct for who is correct you may have to have knowledge of quran and hadith my question is simple can both be simultaneously correct no simple question simple answer no reward for that if i pose you the question one teacher teaches 2 plus 2 is not equal to 5 and the other teacher teaches 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 can both the teachers simultaneously be correct yes the person who doesn't know maths may say yes i agree with the brother the person who doesn't know maths may say yes all those who know basics of maths who have passed even standard 4 will say no because everyone knows 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so the first question is if one teacher say 2 plus 2 is not equal to 5 other teacher say 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 can both be correct simultaneously the answer is no simple i believe most of you may have passed standard 4 but if i ask you a slightly difficult question 375 multiply by 625 is equal to 1525 one teacher says that the other teacher says 375 multiply by 625 is not equal to 1525 can both be correct simultaneously no you don't have to be a mathematician which is correct if i ask you who is correct then you may have to take a calculator and calculate even if you don't know maths but if you are logical one says is equal to 1525 the other says is not equal to 1 million 525 even if you don't have a calculator you don't know maths both simultaneously cannot be correct to know which teacher is correct who is correct you may have to take a calculator and press the button and then you may give the answer either the first or the second is correct fine everyone is with me mashallah so similarly to say who is correct or which madhab is correct the hanafi or the shafi can both be simultaneously correct the answer is no but which madhab is more correct what is the reply the same reply you have to check up in the authentic sources number 1 is quran number 2 is hadith correct so now this answer who is correct hanafi or shafi here everyone will not know unless he has strived in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala he has strived to find out the truth now when we read the quran it's mentioned in the quran in surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 6 ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o you who believe when you prepare yourself for salah wash your face and your hands and arms up to the elbow rub your head with water wash your feet up to the ankle 
that means doing wudu is compulsory before salah and if you are in ceremonial impurity you have to bathe you have to have a bath and the verse continues or if you are ill if you are ill or on a journey or when you come back from the call of nature offices of nature or if you are in contact with women or if you touch a woman and if you do not find water take clean sand or earth and rub it on your face and your hands talking about tayammum if there's no 